Client avatar is basically your description of the one person who completely just loves the food that you have to offer. That is what a client avatar is. And today we need to identify the client avatar. Why is that the case? It is because we want to be able to reach the right audience. At the end of the day, there's no point of me teaching people who don't want to open up a restaurant and sharing with them information. They're just not going to look at it. They're just not going to see it. They're not going to be able to receive what I have to say. Whereas talking to you, you get it. I'm reaching the right audience and you are excited about this course because you want to build your own food business. So same idea. We want to be able to speak to people who care about what we have to say as opposed to talking to everyone. Because when our message is that broad and that wide, we end up talking to no one. There's no way my message can come to you if I'm not directing my message specifically to you. So every business that I create, I always first start off with a client avatar creations. At the same time, it also allows you to create a very powerful brand because this is truly the only way you can create a genuine following. When your message is so targeted, when you understand in and outs of what's going on behind your customer's mind, then you know exactly how to give them the answer before they even ask for it. And that's the reason why you would want to create your very own client avatar. It also allows you to improve your product with meaningful feedback. Quite frankly, I don't care what these guys have to say about my course because they don't care about the restaurant business. They don't care about food business, whereas you do. So that means when the feedback that you give me, I can actually take it and I can actually make the course better. I can tweak my messaging because this is created for you. And the same thing for you. When you know your client avatar, you can actually start getting feedback from them and create meaningful changes. Now, how do you do it? First off, there's three steps. The first is to visualize. Visualize who would be the ideal person that buys from you, that would believe and also would um, actually enjoy the product you have to sell. Describe this person. Describe their age, how old they are. What is their sex? Is Are they male, female? Where do they live? What is their annual income? What is their status? Are they married? Do they have kids? Or are they a mother? interests, hobby, core values, and brands that they enjoy. Now, I understand you're not going to be able to have anything that is concrete in terms of uh, validating these statistics. However, our job is to visualize and give our best assumption. And then later on, we're going to be able to evolve and tweak all these different measures. At the end of the day, it is a smart, educated guess that we're, we're putting forward about who would love our product. Visualize, really sit down and think about it, right? Go through as much detail as possible and then move on to step two. Find people who fit your client avatar. Now that you have it on a piece of paper, you have described this person that is your ideal client avatar, it is time to find people who fit into this mold. Typically speaking, we want to start with our friends, our family, because they oftentimes become our client avatar, um, mainly because of the fact that you, the, the people that hang out together, they have similar values and they have similar um, thought process and they have similar demographic. And so most likely the food that you create, you love yourself. So then that means your friends and family must love as well. So that's why I would, first of all, go to our friends and family. Now, if you don't have that resource, next up is to find people through Facebook groups. And within your city, you can actually check in different food focus groups or like just friends in general on these um, Facebook groups and you can reach out to them. And lastly, networking events. These are also really great way to find people who are suitable client avatar of yours. We would recommend finding at least a minimum of five different people and whether they are truly your client avatar or not, it doesn't really matter at this point. Our job is to find people who you think would fit into your client avatar. Next up is to create a survey and interview all the candidates that you have shortlisted. Having a survey that gets you organized and also helps you structure all your data findings so then that way you can make meaningful decisions out of these data. Now, this is the reason why we choose five different candidates because people you selected 
may not all be your client avatar, may not all be suitable for things that you are to create. Your, your recipe might not be fitting for them. And that's the reason why you need to interview, find out more from them and to really identify whether they are going to be your client avatar or not. I'll give you an example. So with Bulbasaur, we created this brand specifically for you as we go through it step by step. And that's why this is uh, our interview with a uh, client avatar named Nicole. We love naming our client avatar. And the reason why we name client avatars like this one is because they are our clientele. And I want to be able to put a name to a face. This is a made up face client avatar. However, this really gives your whole mindset into it and you are much more, um, you can much more visualize it when you give them a proper name. And as you can see here, the brands that they like, Forever 21, H&M, they like online shopping, some of the core values. They want to have uh, different statuses uh, in terms of going uh, up the ladder chain. They value balance, they value um, self-exploration. Interest, what interest do they have? They have Netflix and chill shopping, going to raves and EDMs and events, social media, Instagram, uh, Snapchat and Twitter, close relationships. That's what they really truly value and experiencing the world, right? So Nicole is a female 25 year old living in Vancouver, salary of 35,000 a year and works from home right now. That is a suitable candidate for our brand called Bulbasaur, which is an at home bubble tea kit. So you can kind of tell why someone like a Nicole would like our bubble tea that they make from home. And this is basically an interview sheet that we created for them. So that's how we do it. Now it is your turn. Go and print out the client avatar infographic templates and fill out what your client avatar would look like. Use the survey template and create your very own that caters to your specific food products and your client avatar.